Hi, I'm Jennifer Romanoff, Vice President of Education for Rainbow Academy, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest curriculum enhancement, Interactive Whiteboard Technology. These whiteboards will be added to our four-year-old preschool and kindergarten classrooms this upcoming school year. Teachers will be able to utilize these boards to bring traditional learning to life. The boards will enhance our circle time, reinforce skills acquired through small group interaction, and take children on a journey of sights and sounds from all over the world. Now these boards are in no way replacing any of our core curriculum. Through Seedling's early childhood educational programs, children will still be engaged in all of the developmental milestone skills such as cognitive, social-emotional, language, and physical. Again, we look at our whiteboards as just an enhancement to our curriculum's philosophy of learning through play. So here are a few ways that whiteboard technology will be used in all of our classrooms. And the animals that we're going to talk about today are ocean animals. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so if you put your thinking caps on and you think about the ocean, put them on, click them on real quick. What animals do you see in the ocean? Who can raise your hand and tell me? What animals do you see in the ocean? So how many animals did we name? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many? Seven. Wow, that was a lot. All right, good job. You ready to do our next activity? Yes. All right, let's move on. OK, boys and girls, so in this activity, I want you to tell me which one is your favorite. So out of the three ocean animals that you see up here, a starfish, a dolphin, or a crab, when I call your name, you can come up, you can tell me what color you want to write in, and you write your name over your favorite one. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Do you know which animal you're going to pick? What color would you like? Black. Black, why don't you take the stylus, push on the black. Oh, and I heard the little beep, so you're all changed in colors. Go ahead, you're up. Yes. Uh-oh. Nobody. Nobody picked the crab. Sorry, Mr. Crab. How many people picked the dolphin? Two. Two. Very good. Anya and Nandita. How many people picked the starfish? Three. Three. So which one has the most? Three. That starfish. The starfish. Which one has the least? Dolphin. Ooh, you're close. Think again. The crab. Uh, the crab. Because the crab has none. Which one's right in the middle, though, Vincent? Dolphin, dolphin, you dolphin. got it. Great job. Alrighty, gang. Well, now since we're learning about our ocean animals, we're going to play an ocean game. Are you ready? Oh. All right. Let me pull it up on our board. Whoa. I know. Isn't it so cool? And we're going to do an ocean game right Yay. there. Listen. All right. So before you guys were naming all the animals that you could name, what's that one? A dolphin. Dolphin. What's this one then? Jumping around. Uh, seal. Dolphin. Uh, there's the dolphin. So what's this one? This one's a lot a whale. bigger. A whale. whale. I got it. All right. Let's go to our next page. Fish. Go ahead. The dolphin is not going. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. Why don't you give it to Nandita? And Nandita, you get to pick one. Click on it twice. One more. Oh, Which animal breathes underwater? It has fins. It can come in many different sizes and shapes and colors. What do you think? Go tap on it twice. <gasps> that was the one that you liked that went around in circles. Good job. I found a way on my whiteboard that we can go to an aquarium whenever we want. You want to see? Yeah. All right. Click on. Cool. Let me find it for you. And here we go. Now, this is what you call a webcam. Somebody has put a cool internet camera on an aquarium. Oh. oh. And we actually get to see what's in it. Oh, who did that? Look at that. There it goes. Now, one of the animals that Anya just mentioned just went by. Did you notice what it was? No. Some fish. Fish is right there. Look, there they go. Stingray. Stingray. Where do you see it? On the bottom. There it is. It's going across the bottom. What did I name? Gotta keep watching. Oh! Oh! Look at the shark! A shark, a shark. 
That is a mighty big fish. That fish is almost as big as that shark. So those were just a few ways that whiteboard technology can be used within preschool and kindergarten classrooms. We are extremely excited for this enhancement to our curriculum. I invite you to come down to our Rainbow Academy and see what whiteboard technology is all about and how it can enhance your child's rainbow experience.